Hello, everyone. I'm Mao Sengguo from CQ Tech. Today, I'm very honored to introduce a new technology called Quantum Diamond Atomic Force Microscopy (QDEFM) for short. This instrument can capture the weak magnetic field at nanoscale. The magnetic field is everywhere. There are many methods to see it. For example, MOC, limited by optical diffraction, has a poor spatial resolution. LTEM requires electron to penetrate the sample, so the sample thickness can't be greater than 100 nanometers. This is MFM. The magnetic tip can seriously influence the sample, leading to signal distortion. Fortunately, scanning NV magnetometer is burgeoning in recent years. This instrument, QDEFM, is developed by CQ Tech. It provides quantitative, high spatial resolution and high sensitivity measurements of the stream magnetic fields. In addition, it can function well in a wide range of temperatures and external magnetic field. This is a structure diagram of QDEFM. It combines optically detected magnetic resonance (ODMR) with atomic force microscopy (AFM). NV center in diamond is a quantum magnetic sensor. Actually, QDEFM belongs to scanning probe microscopy. The proof of which is NV center. So, what is the NV center? The nitrogen vixy center, a spin one defect in diamond formed by substitutional nitrogen atom and an adjacent vixy. It can be optically initialized and read out through its spin dependent fluorescence, and can be easily controlled by microwave. The red picture is the electron spin resonance spectrum. Of the NV center, also called continuous wave optically detected magnetic resonance (CWODMR), it is a fundamental principle of the NV magnetometer. The fluorescence turns dark when NV center transition is in resonance with microwave frequency. When apply external magnetic field, the peak is split into two due to Zeeman effect, and the sample stream magnetic field. Can induce the Zeeman shift of NV spin sublevels. In order to realize the potential of man- magnetic sensing ability, we mix the diamond into paper with single NV center in it, and then glued it to a tuning fork. The diamond probe is very delicate, and it is the core of the QDFM. It determines the sensitivity and influences the spatial resolution of magnetic field. Our company can offer two types of diamond probe. One is diamond probe with arrays of pillars, and the other is with a single pillar. We can choose and use the probe flexibly, according to the properties of the sample. In QDEFM, the most common imaging mode is the four B mode. In four B mode, we can achieve quantitative mapping of the magnetic structure. When scanning. Each pixel's ODMR spectrum is measured. The peak shifting of the spectrum is used to calculate the magnetic field around the NV axis, and we will probably further recontrast the magnetic moment density, electric current density, or the nature of the magnetic domain wall. In addition, the temperature or electric field can also be sensed by NV ODMR. The imaging time of 4B mode is usually several hours. To save time in the experiment, the ISO-B mode is adopted. In ISO-B mode, we fix one special frequency when scanning, and this method gives out a magnetic contour image. However, it still remains adequate information about the magnetic structure. The imaging time is typically less than 10 minutes. So it is better to apply ISO-B mode first and then 4B mode during the experiment. The special functions of QDEFM include pulse mode and flying mode. Based on ex- 
excellent hardware ASG, the post experiment can be realized in QDEFM. Post mode can enrich the function of QDEFM greatly. For example, the T1 experiment can be used to detect the magnetic noise. Post ODMR or Ramsey have better sensitivity in sensing DC magnetic field. If the magnetic field NV felt is less than 100 Gauss, the suitable method we apply is SOB, DOB, or 4B mode. These methods can achieve quantitative or semi-quantitative analyze. However, if more than 100 Gauss, we can only use a crunching mode generally, which is non-quantitative, because such fields could decrease ODMR contrast and reduce the NV fluorescence intensity. In QDEFM, we can adopt flying mode to achieve quantitative imaging. The flying mode, as the name suggests, means the probe is flying while scanning, through reducing the magnetic field by increasing the NV sample distance artificially, we can obtain the quantitative image. This method could decrease the spatial resolution partially, so it is of vital importance to choose a suitable lifting distance in flying mode. The core indicators of QDEFM are sensitivities and spatial resolution. The sensitivities depends on which method we apply. Now, we take CWODMR as an example. Using parameters include line width, contrast, and fluorescence rate, we can calculate the sensitivity. The sensitivity is typically 2 micro tesla, meaning we can distinguish 2 micro tesla field per second. For CWODMR, Parameters are coupled, increasing one at the expense of others. So, achieving one micro Tesla is very difficult. However, just as mentioned above, based on ASG, a bit more complicated method such as post ODMR or Ramsey can be used to enhance the sensitivity. The definition of spatial resolution using NV center is not so unified by far. Here, in QDEFM, spatial resolution is defined by the full width and half maximum of the line cut in image when using SOB mode. Here, the resolution is just 20 nanometers. Due to these advantages mentioned above, scanning NV magnetometer can provide access to explore exotic phenomena that could never be measured before. Recently, these techniques have promoted advances in plenty of research areas such as spintronic, 2D materials, and life sciences. This is a single magnetic skirming which involves with the external magnetic field. The details of involution are clearly observed. Besides, the ordinary magnetic bubbles can also be studied by QDEFM. The nature of domain wall can be determined by analyzing the sample surface stream magnetic field using an NV magnetometer. This method is the only way to determine the type of magnetic domain wall. And QDEFM is very suitable to study antiferromagnetic such as BFO, this is a real space image of antiferromagnetic order which is published in nature. NV magnetometer can also work well at cryogenic temperatures. Here, this is an example that 2D material is studied using an NV magnetometer at cryogenic temperature. It has great potential in condensed matter physics. CQ Tech has launched a cryogenic version called CQDEFM. In life science, there are many interesting work combined with NV. This is a high resolution image of ferrotins in a single cell using QDEFM. Through scanning, its cellular ferrotins are imaged with a special resolution of about 10 nanometers. In conclusion, QDEFM is a quantum sensing instrument 
for magnetic field imaging at the nanoscale. It features high spatial resolution combined with high sensitivities. We can offer two types of diamond probes. The excellent Hardwell ESG can achieve up to 1 nanosecond precious timing sequence control. For CQDEFM, operating at cryogenic temperature, superconducting vector magnetic is supported. This is a picture of QDFM, and below it is our company website and email. This is only a brief introduction of QDFM. If you want to know more information about it, you are warmly welcomed to contact us by any time.